So the Pro Chrono DLX has been on the market kind of a long time at this point. It's really starting to become outdated. In fact, I think in a few months, not even three months from right now, it's going to be pretty much outdated. There are competitors to Lab Radar that are becoming more affordable, and I'm not sure how relevant this video will be a year from now, two years from now, but I'm going to throw something out there for those of you who are interested, who don't go towards the Lab Radar or competitors of the Lab Radar, but rather you're going to stick with a Pro Chrono or something like that, and you want to shoot in less than optimal conditions or darker conditions. I'm going to talk about that. So this is my Pro Chrono right here. Uh, it's always set up on a Sunway Photo tripod. Sunway Photo is a sponsor of the channel in a lot of ways. Send a lot of gear out to the channel. Very happy about all of that. Happy with their products. Love it. That's what I use for tripods like to hold the camera or shooting off of competition. All of that and uh, no different for my shooting crony. In fact, this is the 2840cc uh, carbon fiber tripod from the TL series. Really happy with this tripod and that's the one that I've been using for my Pro Crony DLX. I'm going to take this off. Get this out of the way for a second. Okay, so you guys kind of know how these work. If you don't, I'm going to show you. You have two sensors, these optical sensors here. And if it's really, really bright or you're having some conditions that are not overcast enough, maybe you have angled light issues, just something pretty much every time I deal with one of those things. Still have good success with the chronograph, but you can take these covers, right, and help disperse light or cover up your sensors. And I'm just going to install one to talk about this. And so hopefully it does the job of covering this up somehow. I'm not sure how effective these really are. I've seen minimal increase in effectiveness when I install these. But most of the time when I shoot, it's not a super clear sky. There are some clouds and that's like optimum condition, conditions for shooting with this type of chronograph. Now the problem I did run into is I started noticing, you know, as the sun is going down, I was missing numbers and then eventually, even when the sun's in the sky and there's light up there, I was getting no reads. It was just too dark and, and uh, I think there was something about the projectile just not getting picked up and I decided to go ahead and get these. And so these are the light kits that are sold. And I think it's sold by the same company, if I remember right. Yeah, I think it's I think it's Pro Chronograph or whoever the parent company is here, I forget. They provide these and all it is is a particular kind of light that's not going to interfere with the reading and it's going to allow for projectiles to get picked up even in the dark. Like I shot in the dark today. Uh, one of the ways that I do it, I have a power bank here that allows me to plug it in because these need to be plugged in. I think it's a little bit unfortunate that it was designed this way. Really the whole product, you know, some things are before their time and this one is a little after its time. It's nice to have a chronograph, but the fact that this was not uh, a rechargeable battery in the field, not something that I could switch out and it has to be nine volt. I, I really don't like that very much. It's not the coolest. And then the fact that these have to be plugged in to something, usually an outlet, but I, I bring a, a battery pack with me when I'm gonna use it at least makes it more mobile and I don't have to worry so much about finding a plug-in somewhere. Like at the range, I'm probably not going to find a plug-in at my outdoor range that's nearby. I power on my power bank. This is a vault power bank, by the way. Highly, highly not recommended. This has failed me multiple times in a lot of ways. Um, doesn't hold juice very long. I'm sorry to say it just hasn't been good. This is their power station from vault and it's just not a good product. All right, but I'm using it because it's the one I have. Switch this over to AC, and there it is. So if you can tell, on this side, it gives you some red operating lights so you know it's working. And as your projectile passes through here, this is gonna allow, or it's gonna cast the right kind of light you need so that those sensors can pick up the projectile going through. 
And uh, here's the short of it, guys, because I'm not going to have a really long discussion about this, is it works great. Works really good. Really, really good. So I tested it out in a couple different conditions, and here's what I found. First of all, when there is uh, light, kind of like what I have overhead right here, coming from an angle, it still screws with stuff a little bit. So I actually turned off some of the lights from the angle, and it was sort of dark. I had light in the distance, but it was sort of dark, and it worked fantastic. Uh, didn't drop any shots. I decided just to test it out and turn off the lights completely. And so I could still see safely what I was doing and operate and shoot. Uh, I could still see my target because my target was illuminated and it picked up every single shot, got good numbers. I don't believe I was having errors in there. I think it was true numbers that it was picking up. So this is a good idea. If you're gonna go this route for whatever reason, maybe you don't wanna spend money on the more expensive ones, the newer ones. Um, the Doppler radar I think is still superior in a lot of ways. I'm gonna be getting one. I'm just gonna let you guys know because there are not many videos that are good videos out there. I'm gonna let you know that these work and I haven't had any drop shots, but if you have um, blended light interference, that might be something that you'll, you'll have to work out and decide, you know, is this actually gonna fix your problem or not? For me, having, you know, next to no light or very, very low light as the sun is going down, that's the value of using this for me. I don't try to use it uh, during, you know, time when there is light outside. I'm, I'm just not gonna worry about that very much because the product has usually worked well for me. I don't have a lot of issues with that. It's more when the sun is going down or I have, you know, just that, that sun is coming uh, at an angle and it's not picking things up right. Or if I'm inside, like indoor shooting and I have the interference of different kinds of lights and light bulbs, um, I can just turn those off and shoot through this and it's a great, it's a great product for that. Uh, I think 10 years ago, this would have been phenomenal with the Bluetooth and everything. And now I just think it's a little behind the times with the Doppler radar systems that are gonna be coming out. I know um, a couple air gun companies that are putting something together. I'm really excited about that, looking forward to it. But for the time being, I'm using this and I'm getting good numbers, really happy with it. In fact, today I pulled, let's pull this out. Just, I got to break to somebody, I guess. Not that I did it, but on a Crossman 1377, an eight shot string, extreme spread of four, standard deviation of one. Was really happy with the numbers I was crunching today and the pellets I was shooting. It's just a fun way to spend the winter and this is a, a cool thing. It doesn't cost me a whole lot of extra money. These are spendy to throw on there, but if you're gonna get this part, you might as well have both parts in my opinion and it does work well. 